That kind of violence has a lot of people feeling paranoid and constantly ducking for cover. It is somewhat comparable to those who've returned from combat. And Frank Wiley, you found out just how serious it is. Yeah, some say they are sick and tired of talking about violence, but that's the best way to deal with it because in some cases even hiding from it doesn't help. A trip through some spots rivals the cemetery. Violence casts a big shadow that covers much of Miles Avenue. Maybe I'm just paranoid at this point. Even when guns are not pointed, fear attacks. The burden weighs heavy in moments of quiet. I've been shot at. Sandra Smith Clemens told me what she's seen and heard keeps her up at night, sometimes even ducking and hiding on her living room floor. Stray bullets? Uh, bullets don't have any names. But what folks like her feel does. It's called shell shock. A military term, a symptom of warfare. Today, many know it as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. That we have too many guns out there on the street. I mean, if you look at the amount of guns in the United States, I mean, we, we would make an army anywhere else, a, a very large army. So Dr. Lolita McDavid is the medical director at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. She said even children in crime-infested neighborhoods suffer long after shots are fired. You always are concerned, is it me next? A steady appetite of violence leaves adults asking the same question. I never know if somebody's going to run up behind me. Because many times a glance over the shoulder shows death around the corner. The good news, we are told most people can recover if given the opportunity to work through it. We are live in Cleveland. Frank Wiley, News Channel 5.